Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Well, this is a very special Valentine's Will Your Ex Returns reading. I'm going to do it and see if we're going to get it for the 14th, if you guys are going to have a return for the 14th, and also for the from the 14th to the 28th, okay? So let's get started. If this doesn't re resonate with you, yeah, it's resonate with you, you can check your Moon, your Rising, and Venus sign, or check out the link below. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalker.com, or check out the link below. All right, let's get started. All right, let me get right in here. All right, what's going on with Gemini, Summon, Rising, and Venus signs? X's romantic love life. Show me the card I need to see for the week of the 14th to the 28th. What's going on with their X's love life for the 14th to the 28th? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So, your ex is having some kind of temptation right now. Either they're having something to do with bondage, uh, <laughs> addiction, or depression going on there. Okay. So, how? what is the blockage for Gemini, Summon, Arising, and Venus sign? For them to get back and reconcile with their ex from the 14th to the 28th. What is the blockage here? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Hmm. Blockage is healing or reconciliation. Wow. Um, maybe during this week you guys are already having a reconciliation. Let's see how this plays out here. We already may be having something going on here with you guys. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. So, how does Gemini's X, Summon Rising and Venus Signs X, feel about them the 14th to the 28th, romantically, of February 2019? How does Gemini's X feel about them romantically the 14th to the 28th of February 2019, romantically? Okay, well, we may already have a reconciliation going on with you guys. Okay, Gemini? I'm just going to put it out there. I see Ace of, of Rods here. So, forever I'm talking to you. There's some temptation going on. Maybe there's a lot of passion going on here because that also can be represented here with this uh, card with between you guys already because we got this Ace of Rods here, which shows, my Lord, Ace of Rods. Just take a look at that card. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, so let's just go with it. Um, so what can Gemini, Summon, Rising, and Venus sign do to remove this blockage? <laughs> of uh, this reconciliation. What can they do to remove this blockage of this reconciliation? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Well, <laughs> you can um, have a long-term commitment with them or there's something else going on here with marriage. Hmm. So it's saying to me, okay, so this hierophant could be saying, I'll just hold it up to you guys. All right. So this hierophant can be saying, I have the camera like this only because of where I'm sitting. It's like, because the chair is so low and it's like, I can't really show me and the table at the same time. So that's the difficulty here. Okay, so the hierophant shows me that um, to remove the blockage of the reconciliation, <laughs> which uh, would show that there is some kind of, something involving tradition here, long-term commitment or marriage, right? So... I really feel like you guys are in the process of a reconciliation, um, but I want to clarify to see. All right, so how does your ex, Gemini, Summon, Rising, Venus, Science ex, feel about a reconciliation between the 14th to the 28th of February 2019? How do they feel about a reconciliation? Let's see. Okay, so there's some kind of competition here with the Five of Wands. There's some kind of disputes going on here. Okay, let me get one card on that. That's uh, involved with happiness. Okay, or making somebody happy. Okay, so there could be an earth sign involved here or again, some kind of marriage situation going on. Okay, so let's take a look here. Hmm. hmm. Well, it looks like you may be, okay, so at the bottom of, when I cut the card, I got a Knight of Cups and I got the Empress. So movement and love, movement and love, that's what it's going to be, okay? And I do see love and reconciliation. I think what's going on here possibly is that you guys may be reconciling. There still may be another person here. And that's probably why the temptation card is coming up. And that's why the eight of rods is here. And that's probably why the five of rods is here. 
All right, so why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here for the current romantic love life of Gemini's ex of the 14th to 28th? And why is it the, the temptation card here? That'll give us some more clear information. Okay, yeah, there's an earth sign here. Or is somebody slow to commitment here? Um, about choices. Yep, there is someone else here. And the, yep, earth sign. So it looks to me like there could be a Leo here or a fire sign here. And there could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Taurus here. All right. Um, what's going on with this reconciliation card here? What's going on with this reconciliation card here? What's going on with this reconciliation card here? So, yeah, someone feels like their hands are tied when it comes to reconciliation here. That's not really making them happy or it's keeping them from being happy because someone doesn't want to accept things the way they are. Yep, there's a third party. So it looks like, okay, so it looks like you guys are in the process of a reconciliation, but there's still another person involved here. Um, so let's keep going. Why is the Ace of Rods here? 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 So there is an opportunity for a potential long-term commitment here. Uh, and it may happen, they, this person may want it to happen very, very quickly. Um, but they're waiting, they're waiting for you. All right, why is the High Priestess here? Oh, high Priestess, my goodness. Why is the Hierophant card here? 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 Okay, so this is your advice, right? So it's saying to offer this person some type of long-term commitment. Um, it's not going to be easy sailing on this, but you could be victorious in this situation with a complete reconciliation. And you got the tower. Hmm. Cross watchers. Cross watchers. I saw someone else with the tower too. God, who was it? Was it Capricorn? Was it who was it? Hmm. Could have been Taurus or Capricorn. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. So apparently some kind of sudden event happened. Uh, and there was uh, something where you guys are starting to reconcile, but there is another person here. And I think someone here is married. Okay. So why is the five of rods here? 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 Someone needs to make a decision about competition. So someone needs to cut someone out, make a decision when it comes to choices, competition. Why is the sun here? Sorry. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? So you have to make a choice in love, okay, that's going to make you happy, all right? So it looks to me like you need to make the choice here because it looks to me like this person wants this to happen right away. Um, in their love life, they're having a temptation by you, okay? So, so if it isn't you, it's the other person. Someone here needs to make a choice, a decision. Um, but it looks like to me like it's your ex. Okay, it looks like your ex needs to make a, ch a decision about this. All right, so let's see. So if there's already reconciliation taking place, will there be a full reconciliation taking place by February 14th, 2019? Will they have a full reconciliation? Um, Gemini, Summon, Rising, and Venus sign with their ex from the 14th to the, uh, excuse me, for the 14th, Valentine's Day. Will they have a full reconciliation by that day? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Tell me when to stop. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, you got the twin flame soulmate connection and a choice in love. Now, how do you interpret that one with a choice in love? Oh, the emperor. So Aries, taking control of the situation. Oh, oh. So it looks like you guys are going to have some fun possibly on Valentine's Day here whoever I'm talking to, uh, the lovers, it's a, a soulmate twin flame connection, choice and love. Emperor says someone's allowing the situation to unfold naturally for a new path in commitment. Interesting. Okay. Magician card, ideal partner. Someone's taking control to manifest what they want. 
King of Rods. So maybe there's some kind of fire sign person here for sure. Or somebody has fire in their chart. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Interesting. So yeah, I do see Aries here for sure. And I see Leo. So damn. Okay. So it looks like you guys are going to have some fun um, for Valentine's Day. So let's kind of see how this is going to work out for the 14th to the 28th. So what do you see happening for the reconciliation from the 14th to the 28th? Will this continue on? Will this trend continue on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign? Will this reconciliation continue on? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see from the 14th to the 28th of February 2019. Okay, so it's not going to be an easy path, but you're going to start working towards healing with the Six of Swords. Uh, someone's definitely going to analyze um, what to do about love with the Queen of Cups. Someone's definitely going to do some thinking here with the, the Hierophant about a fire sign person. Uh, yep, there's a new opportunity here for you guys. So it looks like it's going to be looking good for you guys um, coming up from the 14th to the 28th. So that's excellent. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. So for sure, I do see something going on here, some movement going on with you guys. So it looks pretty good. It looks like it's already kind of taken place here. But as I said, you have to make a decision, either you or the other person, to move this forward. And you have to um, do some commitments here, long-term commitments. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And thank you guys again so much for watching.